Welcome to the Fearless Wrestling League YouTube channel. Today we are going to be reviewing this AEW double or nothing authentic scale ring that comes with the referee Aubrey Edwards. We're going to let you guys know what we think of this ring. This is our very first authentic scale ring. We have been using the basic Mattel with the spring action mat for the longest time. We also have some other rings uh, that are all the smaller scale. So you're going to get our impressions of this. You're also going to find out what we thought about the build process, how long it takes, is it difficult, all of that uh, in this video and more. So stay tuned. All right, we are back here with the ref Aubrey Edwards and the assembled ring. Now, these rubber ring turnbuckles uh, made my fingers extremely raw. Uh, they were a little difficult. Uh, over here, we've hidden the knots uh, behind the turnbuckles inside of there. So you can't see the knots of the ropes where they're, the loose ends are tied together. Um, these stairs are really big compared to like the other stairs we had. Uh, big, big, big difference there, um, but it's still really cool. Uh, we're, I'm actually, I'm loving them. Um, they do come apart pretty easy. They, they're together. They kind of snap together, but they do come apart. So if you send someone into them, just like in real life, they can knock the top off, pick this piece up, hit them with it, things like that. Again, cloth, so you could slide weapons down underneath there, which is a really, really nice feature. Again, this is a massive ring. You can see how big it is compared to like our little setup here. I love it. It is really we cool. We had to send this out. Yes. I thought I was going to hate this padding. I actually don't. It's pretty thin, uh, actually. Soft. Yeah. It's pretty well, and the thing is, is it's thin. And if I'm posing figures on it, I don't want it thick and too much padding because I don't want the figures to fall over on accident and things like that. So I do need to get rid of some of the wrinkles in it. You need um, to iron it. Yeah, I'll probably iron it. The Ref Aubrey Edwards figure. So first of all, Ref Aub Aubrey Edwards is awesome. Uh, I love her on the podcast they do for AEW. Uh, she's just really cool. And uh, this figure looks just like her. It does have her tattoo on her inner forearm here. Uh, it's got the different hands. You got the one, the two, the open hand. And then the left hand has like a microphone grip over there, or I guess you could put like a belt or something in it. So uh, really, really cool. Um, the ab crunch, like usual, I have issues with. It doesn't bend very much. But uh, this is an awesome figure. It does have the articulation you would expect from an AEW figure. For a referee, it's going to be great. Um, I do have the the one finger, so she could point and things like that, because, you know, Ref Aubrey Edwards, she's known to get into some of the guys' faces, you know, whether it's Jericho or, or whoever's breaking the rules. So I really like it. Uh, one thing I'm not sure of is if the tag rope here comes with other authentic scale rings. Uh, you get two of them on opposite corners. Um, so that's something that you had to pay attention to when building this. So if you're somebody who just starts building things without reading instructions, you might make some mistakes. So the very first thing is this pad has to go on before you do any of the ring posts or any of that. Um, the other thing, this is technically by the instructions supposed to go on after you do these, but I would almost recommend starting it on here up to there before you put the corner posts in. Uh, I think that would make it a little bit easier. Otherwise, you got to like put it on and go over those. You know, not a big deal. It is stretchy. Like this this part on the corner here is stretchy, you can see. So it's not a huge deal, but um, something that might make it just a touch easier. I don't know. Could be wrong. Um, but yeah, do you think I missed anything, Caleb? It took us like 30 to 45 minutes to put it together. It wasn't bad. Like I said, my fingers were a little raw. Uh, the box shows the... The corner turnbuckles. The box shows the corner turnbuckles being AEW, double or nothing, AEW. And it does it for all of them. AEW, double or nothing, AEW. But we had eight double or nothings in like four AEW. Correct. So, so we, we couldn't have to do it. We, 
can't do the same pattern. Exactly. We had to do the opposite of what it's supposed to be. We had to do double or nothing, A, W, double or nothing. Exactly. So I don't know if that's a huge deal. I don't know if it's like that in all the boxes or if it was just ours. Um, I'm not too upset about it. I'm not going to worry about it. But um, You just are happy that you had it. Yeah. I mean, I wanted to make it like the box shows and how it's. I think it's supposed to be. But I can live with it the way it is. I'm happy with it. And ultimately, it's a cool ring. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about looking into some of the interchangeable ring aprons and things like that. Uh, double checking to see if they would fit something like this. Uh, maybe I'll look at different side skirts, um, whether, you know, NWO side skirts or something in the future, because uh, those are kind of cool. But um, yeah, if you have this ring, I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. If you're thinking of getting this ring, again, let us know below. Uh, I do think the authentic scale ring is awesome. It is huge. Uh, it does take a little bit to put it together, uh, but once it's together, it's, it's well worth it. Um, you can do all sorts of stuff in this ring. It's so, so big, <laughs> you know? So you, if you're gonna get it, make sure you got the space for it. Uh, what do you think about the ring, Caleb? Am I missing anything? I feel like I've said everything. What do you think? I like the double or nothing. Oh, on the, the turnbuckle pads? Yeah, but I wish it was just black because then you can make have your own pattern. You can do your own pattern, like if mm -hmm. you. We just gotta WFC. convince mommy. Yeah, we just gotta yeah, convince. Just, uh, we just have to convince mommy to sew our own for us. That's yeah. what we gotta do. We'll just have mommy make us. Mommy's so. not gonna do it. I know it. <laughs> well, you never know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. But that would be a generic ring. They make generic rings. It's just, I didn't want the generic ring. We could have bought one on Amazon. It's similar in size. Doesn't have any logos on it. Again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can purchase this ring uh, from our Amazon affiliate link below. Uh, or you can head on over to our Patreon. Uh, you can show some support there. Um, whatever tier you think you would like to support us at. Other ways you can follow us and see, you know, promos, match cards, things like that. Uh, our tournament, our, our world title tournament is up on Instagram. Uh, you can see the seating of the 16 different guys. We have block A and block B. Um, it's separated into legends and modern day wrestlers. And one of them is going to end up becoming the FWL world champion. We also have a poll going up over there uh, that is currently up on Instagram over at PW Juice uh, about what belt you would like to see us use. Um, so we'll probably throw up another, another, we'll probably throw up another little video here showing off the different belts we have and what we are thinking uh, about uh, using them for and which ones we're using and not using. So uh, with that, once again, if you want to check it out, head on over to our Instagram. Thank you guys for watching this long. We will see you guys next time. Peace out. Peace out.